Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Cody Durden versus Bruno Silva. Cody Durden 16-5 and 1, 4-1 and one in his last five fights. Last fight was uh, Tager Ulan Bekov, and he got absolutely mollywopped in that fight. His defense held up for a long, long time, but Tager was persistent, and he ended up getting the uh, rear naked choke finish. It basically a pick em fight. 33 years old, 5'7", with a 67-inch reach. Freddy Bruno Silva, who's 13-5-2, and 3-2 in his last five fights. On a three-fight winning streak, plus 100, 34 years old. 5-4 with a 66-inch reach, 3 inches shorter with a 1-inch reach disadvantage for Bruno Silva. So, the biggest thing with this, and typically when you're fighting dirt in, is can you keep up with the pace? And can you find him with his pace? Uh, like Vakayev met him in the middle with a flying knee and then finished him. Um, you know, Tager Ulanbekov was able to get a hold of him and get him where he wanted him and not let him move around. Bruno Silva, can he do that? Or will he follow him? Will he, you know, move side to side to get to him? I don't necessarily know. You know, he has nine finishes, four wins by submission, five wins by TKO, three and two, oh and one in the UFC. The no contest was Kali Taha. I believe Bruno Bruno won that. Oh, original result was Taha win. He, he yeah, so he tested positive or something. Did a Kali Taha. A long time ago, holy crap! And then he lost to David Dorvac, where Dorvac was pretty good. Lost to Tager Ulanbekov, so both guys have lost. Bruno Silva went to a decision with Ulanbekov. Then he destroys JP Byers, who's not good. Victor Rodriguez is not good. And then he flat he destroyed Tyson Nam, who I'm a big fan of. Um, it just his power was he was able to catch Tyson Nam. It was, it was a very very good performance. But you look at Cody Durden. He's fought some really, really good guys. Number 13 ranked uh, flyweight. He has 11 finishes. He's been submitted four times. 5-3-1 and one in the UFC. He's lost three times by submission. But he's also beaten Charles Johnson, Jake Hadley. Uh, he's also lost to Jimmy Flick, which is brutal. Lost to Mohamed Makayev. But again, he's beaten JP Biaso, the other guy. But beaten Carlos Moda, Charles Johnson, Jake Hadley. And then just lost to finish by Tager Ulan back off. But I, it's tough because I think Bruno Silva could get it done. But I'm worried about the pace and the movement of Darden if he can get moving. I don't know what Bruno Silva's backup plan is. He's he's shown some uh, very versatile striking in his last in his last three fights. But he hasn't fought great competition, so I don't know how much that means. Uh, this could be really a black hole, um, unless you are really confident in somebody, which please let me know if you are. I'm, I'm picking Cody Durden. I think his movement, his output, his pace can really do some damage against Bruno Silva. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, let me know you're picking. Peace.